We are starting with two major music stars making headlines right now. The Amber Riley and Kay Michelle. I love them. So here's the deal. I love it because they are joining forces in a thriller. It's called Single Black Female 2, Simone's Revenge. It is the follow-up to Lifetime's most watched non-holiday TV movie of 2022. Single black female Amber is back as the stalker Simone. Yeah. Here's the deal. In the last one, we thought Simone was long gone. But she survived. And she is back. And Kay Michelle's character is phenomenal. I am so proud of her because I had no idea this is K. Michelle's first acting role. Wow. So they're making headlines all across the country, all across the world. I love them both. They both have been on the show before, but never together. Wow. So here's a peek of the film. Take a look. Hey, Monica. Have any good dreams about me lately? You can't kill me. I just hope the nightmares about Simone are gone. Just want to move on with my life. She's been dead three years. She's not been hurt you no more. Cheers to safe sex and paychecks. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that Simone is coming for me. You think that Simone is still alive? This is about what you need. Go get you some. You so uptight. You betrayed me and cursed my name. What the hell does she want? Me. Watch this again. K. Michelle and Amber Riley! <laughs> okay, congratulations on this scary movie. <laughs> I mean, so much to talk about. We're gonna jump into the movie, but congratulations. Y'all are both constantly trending for great things that you're doing. The Aretha Franklin performance earlier. Performance of respect at CMT Smashing Glass. There you were in full, yeah. just amazement. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Michelle, oh. November, you and Jelly Roll standing ovation yeah. at the CMA. Do you wake up in the morning and just say, let me see how I can just headline things. Let me <laughs> see, I give him a name out there. Congratulations, Thank Aretha you. Franklin was a big part of my life, rooted for me my whole career. To see that was so beautiful. How did it feel for you? It was, it was intimidating, number yeah. one, to tribute Aretha because everyone has such high expectations yeah. when you do that. But I love her so, yeah. so, so much. And I have modeled so much of my own voice and my own style musically after Aretha Franklin. In what so, way? In, in how she could keep it gospel, but she could also make it jazz and how she yeah. can make it blues, yeah. but she can also make it R&B. Yeah. Like, yep. she had this amazing way that I've tried to, to mirror of it could be sexy, but it can also touch your heart. Yes. Like she just, she just had an array of feelings that she can make you feel. So I know it was a, it was an honor to tribute her. It was beautiful to see. And Kay Michelle, that performance with Jelly Roll, I probably watched it 500 times. Oh, thank you. Because you know, like Amber, you you all appreciate yes. your fans, and your yes. fans root for you top to bottom. I know. When she came on the show, K. Michelle told me she got a scholarship in yodeling. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'll never forget. I, yo, so you've been keeping it country from day one. Yes. But to have that moment on the stage and this yeah. audience who might know you, R&B uh -huh. or from a reality show, what was it like for you? Oh, it was emotional because, you know, um, I've been singing country. That's who I am. And for so long, I've been told that I can't do it because I'm black. So. Yeah. To get up there, oh, I got tears in my eyes. To get up there, it's like, woo! Yeah. 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 You did that. 
You did it. Mm -hmm. And I know why it's emotional because it's been this arc and, and you've mm -hmm. wanted it. And now we see, I'm from Texas, right? I, mm -hmm. I love when people say countries now having a moment. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Okay. And so now you, I've been watching social media because they have now mm -hmm. given love to country music past from 1930s, 40s, 50s. Mm -hmm. So you are part of that great legacy. Yeah. And your timing, ma'am, was impeccable yeah. to be on that stage at that time. Yeah. Um, it's, a feel, it's an honor. Yeah. It's an honor because, you know, we are, you know, I like to say, um, my black girl magic is so important. And uh, we are able and capable of all things. And to see so many people be so supportive of, you know, my girl, my girl Beyonce, to see them be supportive of her, to see them be supportive of other African-American women yeah. in a space, it's an emotional, it's this, it's a great feeling. Yeah. Yeah. We're, me and Amber, because I see the tears streaming yeah. down. Th yeah. That's because you're full, right? And you're... I'm it's relieved. Emotional. Like, it's like a... It's a fullness of... You keep saying, you keep saying, I, I want to do this. This is who I am. This is how I grow, grew up. And people telling you, you can't be who you are. Mm. It's like, yeah. wow, you're going to tell me I can't be country, and I'm country as hot water cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> It's good to be seen, and we see you. And respect Here, it, man. and love, yeah. and I thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you. You played some of your new music. You had me crying. Kay Michelle crying. You had me crying. <laughs> you played music at the club, and you yes. posted it. And you got chills yourself because you said, I'm hearing my music. Everybody at the club is dancing to your song. Yeah! <laughs> Well, I mean, what is that like to hear your song where everybody's appreciating it? And dancing. Just watching that again, like, I watch it often because it's the one area I feel like in my career that I want the most that I haven't breaking through that barrier yet. What is the barrier? Of just becoming that musical artist and getting my music in a place where I can tour and people see me as yeah. that artist. And my very first EP, I, I did that independently. I produced that myself. <laughs> like, I did that. I did that independently, you know. I paid for the studio time. I paid for the marketing. I paid for the production. I paid for it to be mixed. I paid for it to be mastered. And I went and found the producers myself. I wrote it. Like, I did it all on my own. And so, with the help of, a, with yeah, the help of, of an course. amazing yeah. team, my management mm -hmm. team, my PR, they're amazing, too. Yeah. The producers, Sons of Sonics, that I worked with, they're amazing, too. But it was, it was me betting on myself, and yes. it did exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. And so this time around, with this second EP, you know, I have a lot of DJ friends. I sent them my music. My DJ friend that day, DJ B. Hens, shout out to him said, I'm playing your song tonight. Oh. And I was like, <laughs> what? We hit it. Yeah. I love it.